On the 25th of May 2018, the new General Data Protection Regulation became directly applicable in all European member states. The regulation not only applies to organisations which process personal data and established in the European Union, but also applies to any organisations which process personal data of data subjects are in the Union, in order to offer them goods or services, or to monitor their behaviour. Building on the foundations of previous data protection laws, the GDPR introduces a number of game-changing principles in the areas of privacy and data protection. Data Protection Impact Assessment establishes the need for certain organisations to assess the level of risk they are exposing data subjects to. Data Protection by Design and by Default introduces the need to ensure privacy at every step of the service's development lifecycle whenever you are developing a solution. This includes configuring the service to minimise the amount of personal data that you are collecting. Right to be forgotten introduces the right of a person to request the deletion of his or her own personal data. The right to be forgotten is one of the most difficult requirements to be implemented because of some technical challenges that it might generate. Joint liability. The GDPR formalises the joint liability of the data controller and data processors. Increased fines. The regulators introduce mechanisms to leverage fines for non-compliance potentially up to €20 million, Euros, or in the case of an undertaking, up to 4% of the total worldwide annual turnover, whichever is higher. But most importantly, the three key factors from our CSA perspective are 1. The principle of accountability 2. The principle of transparency 3. The risk-based approach the principle of accountability is one of the leading and recurring themes across the GDPR, since at the core of the regulation there is the idea to ensure that whenever an organisation is processing personal data, it shall take full responsibility not only to comply with the relevant duties and obligations, but also to demonstrate such compliance. In order to better explain the principle of accountability, we shall take a small step back and introduce the key concepts of data controller and data processor. The data controller is, in essence, the company that collects the personal data from the data subject and determines the purpose and means of the data processing. The data processor is the company that processes the personal data on behalf of the data controller. According to the principle of accountability, the organisation collecting and or processing personal data should behave as a good steward of the data during its whole life cycle. In this regard, the idea of due diligence and control over any third party participating in the processing of the personal data is of paramount importance. The second key principle of GDPR is transparency. The principle of transparency is directly connected with that of accountability. It is there to ensure that all parties involved in the processing activities have a clear understanding of how personal data is taken care of within the processing supply chain. For instance, in order for a data controller to be able to enforce the key security measures they are responsible for, there has to be a clear understanding and visibility of what the processor is doing. For example, let's assume Ms. Martin, the data subject, buys services from WeShare2000, an online file sharing service provider. WeShare2000 doesn't own a data center or cloud infrastructure, but acquires the necessary capabilities from MegaCloud, a cloud infrastructure as a service. IAAS provider. In this scenario, company WeShare2000 is the data controller. WeShare2000 is the data controller, and in order to be a good steward of Ms. Martin's data, it should provide her with all the necessary details of how her personal data is handled and protected. And at the same time, it should require that MegaCloud follow its instructions during the processing, as well as requiring evidence that the rules are followed. That is why transparency is so important, as it serves the purpose of making sure that the data subject is aware of how her data is treated, and the data controller can keep control of how the data processor, and eventually any other sub-processors, are taking care of the personal data they have been entrusted with. The third key game-changer introduced by GDPR is the idea of a risk-based approach. In order to maintain security and prevent processing in infringement of the GDPR, Companies must evaluate the risks inherent in the processing and implement measures to mitigate those risks. These measures should ensure an appropriate level of security 
including confidentiality, taking into account the state of the art and the costs of implementation in relation to the risks and the nature of the personal data to be protected. A sound approach in line with the most basic rules of risk management is that you assess the risks and then you apply measures to protect your assets, personal data in this case, taking into account the state of technology and the resources at your disposal. By adopting a risk-based approach, implementing an accountability framework and showing transparency, companies have the opportunity to show their compliance with GDPR, which is their ultimate objective. The GDPR foresees the use of codes of conduct, Article 40, and certifications, Article 42, as tools for demonstrating compliance. Since 2012, the Cloud Security Alliance, through its CSA Privacy Level Agreement, PLA Working Group, has developed tools for 1. Supporting privacy compliance and transparency 2. Harmonizing the communication between cloud service providers, cloud users and industry regulation Starting from 2016, the focus turned to the development of a tool for GDPR compliance. This led to the creation of the CSA Code of Conduct for GDPR Compliance. The CSA's objectives were to 1. Provide cloud service providers CSPs, with a tool to achieve GDPR compliance and demonstrate it through self-attestation or third-party certification. 2. Provide cloud customers with a tool to evaluate the level of CSP data protection compliance. The CSA Code of Conduct is structured in two main components. 1. A technical standard code of practice template, aligned with the GDPR requirements and additional guidelines issued by the European Data Protection Board, EDPB. 2. A governance structure that oversees the management of the technical standard, its evolution and the mechanisms of adherence. The scope of the CSA Code of Conduct and Certification is Cloud Computing. The Code of Practice covers the GDPR requirements that are relevant to any cloud service provider. It focuses on B2B relationships. The COP is based on 15 main requirements and a broader set of 23 controls and over 120 control specifications. Organizations using these tools can demonstrate two mechanisms of adherence, a self-assessment and a third-party audit-based certification. The CSA Code of Conduct Self-Assessment is the voluntary publication on a dedicated website called the CSA Security, Transparency and Assurance Registry of 1. The Code of Conduct Statement of Adherence, which is essentially a statement in which the legal representative of the company is claiming to adhere to the code, and 2. Completion of the PLA Code of Practice Annex 1 template. The CSA Code of Conduct Certification is a third-party audit offering a certification scheme in accordance with ENISO slash IEC 17065 slash 2012. The qualified auditor will verify the correct implementation of the PLA COP requirements and the accuracy of the information included in the PLA COP template. The CSA Security Transparency and Assurance Registry, STAR. The main purpose of the CSA STAR program is to promote trust and assurance in the cloud through transparency by giving the cloud customers an opportunity to make an informed, risk-based decision about a cloud service provider's security and privacy posture. The CSA STAR is a registry, a public website freely accessible by anyone in which companies can voluntarily publish the results of their self-assessment and third-party audit certifications based on CSA best practices. As organizations continue their efforts to comply with Europe's most recent regulation, the area of data protection will continue to be an evolving topic for regulators around the world. CSA is committed to working across the globe to provide tools like CSA STAR for both cloud service providers and cloud customers to ensure compliance with future regulations, alongside trust and transparency in the market. For more information, visit www.cloudsecurityalliance.org.